Ten is the yeah. Bob Mills Weather Center. Boy, that artwork is just beautiful. Yeah, Robin, Robin is an incredible artist and an incredible person, and it's just been amazing to watch her walk through yeah. the loss of her mom so strongly. Actually, the funny thing is, when we first met, uh, she was kind of just trying to get to know me and like asking me hobbies, and I was like, oh yeah, I paint sometimes. Oh, little I did you not know. paint like Robin Marsh <laughs> paints. And so, so since then, she's been like, oh, we should paint together. I'm like, you do not ah. want to see me paint. I was just like coming up with things that I do like to paint, but I'm not painting like Robin Marsh. Oh, you know? that's funny, Hannah. Okay, anyways, we got things to talk about in the weather world. There's a lot uh, going on this morning. Chilly, chilly temperatures. 17 degrees is what it feels like in Oklahoma City. 15 in El Reno, 18 in Guthrie, 14 in Clinton. We got single digits in the panhandle. It is a very, very cold start to the day. Bundle up, bundle up the kiddos. It is going to be a cold one through the day today, not quite as cold as it is this morning, but we currently have that system now continuing to push off to the east. The cold front stretching for miles and continuing to bring um, a lot of severe weather and rain to the eastern parts of the country and the southeastern part especially hit hard by that severe weather. Currently in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, everything's looking good. We are quiet. We are dry. And um, the storm that moved through, it didn't bring us any severe weather, didn't really bring us any precip at all. But the southeast, as I mentioned, was really hit hard by the severe weather. 22 tornado reports and counting. There's still one tornado warning on ongoing now in Alabama. So looking at um, radar from that way, we still have ongoing severe thunderstorm warnings, lots of lightning as well, and still under a tornado. Watch that tornado warning has expired at this point, but this this stretches all the way from Canada to the Gulf of Mexico. The actual area of low pressure is in Canada, and then the cold front sweeps down south through all of these states from New York down to Charlotte over to Atlanta. So more than 1,500 miles covered by this system. So we have more swings ahead. Uh, more 20 degree plus temperature swings in the nine day. We actually have two of them. So we have an Arctic chill in the air for this morning. I think tomorrow morning is also going to be on the cool side before 60s and 70s return. And then another front moves through, drops us another 20 degrees yet again, and then a warm up in the wake of that before our third and final cold front, at least for the nine day, moves through. That one is going to be bringing really frigid air to the Midwest and to the upper Great Plains. But for us, we were cold, but we're not frigidly cold like the Midwest is going to see. So uh, currently we have clear skies. This is a look at our downtown cam on our Pike Pass Sky Cam Network. 28 degrees. Our current temperature feels like 17. There are all the temperatures throughout the state. Currently 10 in Guyman, 9 out in Cimarron County. Single digits there. We got 30s in southeastern Oklahoma. 38 now in Idabel. 26 in Guthrie. 23 in Stillwater. Winds from the north. They're not that strong, but they are enough to make our feels like temperatures stay in the teens almost through the entire state not 17 in Oklahoma City 12 in Ponca City look at the single digits it's feeling like zero in Guyman oh updated negative one now in Guyman negative two out in Cimarron County it is not a day to forget the heavy winter jacket maybe even layer up if you're going to be outside this morning for an extended period of time this afternoon we're warming up a little bit 45 degrees our high temperature winds aren't going to be too much of a factor so that's good news but just enough I think to really make uh, there be a chill in the air throughout the day today, 46 in Clinton, 45 in Woodward and Alva, 46 in Guymon for this afternoon. Lows tonight, they're not going to be quite as chilly as this morning, but still very cold. 28 in Oklahoma City. The winds are gradually shifting. I think they're going to be from the south by the time we hit tomorrow morning. And that's going to start to warm us up over the next few days. 52 for the day tomorrow. It is the first day of December tomorrow. We also have a chance of a passing shower too in southeast Oklahoma from Ada up to McAllister over to Salisaw. Maybe southeast sides of the metro. 20% chance for Durant and the highest chance now down in McCurtain County. So your nine day forecast taking a look. First day of December tomorrow. We warm it back up to near 70 before our next 20 degree temperature drop and then we do it all over again into early next week. Don't go anywhere. We got more news and weather for you coming up right after this.